All right, so let's do uh, initial startup for the S4. Uh, one of the things that I always like to show is how to open up the battery cover. Sometimes it's something that for some folks it's, it's a challenge. You'll notice here that there's a little uh, notch or groove. What you do is you can stick your nail in there and then just pull it out. You don't have to worry about, you know, concern that you're going to break the case. Now, the one thing is that, uh, while well, Samsung says that they're coming out with, a, um, with the wireless charging, uh, this is not a wireless charging back. Uh, here I have the battery. This battery is what they call an NFC battery. So uh, it will allow you to touch another Samsung or an NFC device and pair with it and connect to it. So I'll go ahead and put this battery in here. You'll notice that the, the positions for the actual slots uh, are, they look like they're pretty much the same. So let's go back into the S4. Actually, they moved. So you'll notice on the back, the, uh, the actual positions uh, where you had your micro SD and your SIM did move uh, from the bottom now to the top. But this is an NFC battery, and you can see the difference in the battery is pretty significant. Uh, this is more of the style of the Galaxy Note, and this battery uh, is a much smaller battery. I think this was like a 1600 milliamp battery, if I recall. So uh, much larger battery you have on one side versus the, the other. And then you'll notice that while uh, you only have one speaker, uh, this, this does seem to be a dual speaker on the back. So if you notice the two grills. Uh, I won't take it apart, but you'll notice that it is separated. It, it doesn't have a one speaker view like you have on this one. So it, it seems like it's, it's either simulating or it's a dual speaker. So let's go ahead and put the cover back on. Um, I won't put a sim in. I'll do that later. Take that over. Oh, you know what? I got the wrong cover. And to put it on, all you do is just snap. You're not going to break anything. Just snap it around. And then what we'll do is we'll remove the cover. And we'll power it up. So let's press and hold the power button and see what the experience is like. Okay, you did get kind of feedback as soon as it start, started up. So you got like a vibration. Your Samsung Galaxy S4 logo. Your AT&T logo is now popping up. And now we'll just go through the setup. We have English, I'll hit next. Um, it's notifying me that I don't have a SIM, it's fine. So I went ahead and connected it to the network. The next step is looking at what the date is and the time zone, I went ahead and set that up. And now it's looking for my Google account, so I'll go ahead and add that because I have an existing Google account, so I'll say yes, and I'll enter that. I've entered my Google account, it's going through the backup process and asking me if I'd like to accept that. So it's gonna go ahead, there's really nothing to restore. All it's going to do is back up, and it uh, will download some of the existing apps that I have on my other accounts uh, or my other phones. So I'll go ahead and hit next and go through the setup. It's asking me if I'd like to add some other accounts. I'm not going to add any other accounts at this time. And at this point, I can sign into this, my Samsung account. I recommend that you do sign into your Samsung account because this is how you'll be able to use some of the enhanced features within the phone. So if you want to use, for example, S Voice, which is the voice translator, you'll need to be signed in. So if you don't have one, please do so. The other thing that you'll find is that if you sign into the Samsung account, you'll also have um, the ability to search for your phone if you do use your phone, very similar to what you have on the Apple's network, which is a kind of like Find My Phone. So I'll go ahead and sign into my Samsung account now. So now it's asking me to name the device. I'll go ahead and give this device a name, and I'll hit Next. All right, so now that I've um, given the device a name, the next step is to turn on certain features uh, that are available uh, with the actual phone. And you can learn about these features. We're going to do some videos going um, into each one of these features a little bit later. Uh, but at this time, you could either select to enable other things or um, disable things. I'm going to turn on voice control. I use that. And uh, we'll go over these features a little bit later. But as you can see, you have smart pause, smart scroll, easy mode. There's a lot of different features that come built in with uh, the Samsung series of phones. So I'll hit finish. Um, here it's asking me if I'd like to sign up for the locker. I'm going to skip that. It's an AT&T storage. And what it's doing now is uh, it'll start downloading all my apps, my contacts, and start setting up the phone. So it's already determined my location and setting up the time. So this was the startup and initial setup of the Samsung Galaxy S4. 
It's a great phone. We'll do further reviews on the different features and functions that it has, especially the camera and some of the gesture capabilities that are available. I um, hope you enjoyed this video.